The following is a paid program and does not necessarily reflect the views or ideas of the staff or management of KWSH or the 110 Broadcast Group. This don't go <laughs> Let me take a breath. Simono Logi <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Chaho Jifkodos and Mojanita Bill Logis. Mm-hmm. Bill Mr. Bill Anderson has mm-hmm. came into the studio. And is going to join me in this next 30 minutes of telling y'all what's going on in the Seminole Nation. That's right. Bill, how are you doing today? Doing good. Doing pretty good. Good deal. And so I'm going to be your host, Jeremy Fultz. And like I mentioned, my co-host today is Bill Anderson, communication director. And Bill, you're in the hot seat today. Mm-hmm. It's it's hard to believe. It's already Tuesday. Yeah. Yesterday was President's Day, and so the tribe had yesterday off, mm-hmm. and then it was the weekend. And unfortunately, we we you know our condolences go out to you and your family oh, yeah, uh, sure for your father in law passing away. But mm-hmm. um, any anything that you did this weekend that you want to tell everyone about? No, no, I didn't really do anything. I just we just had the funeral, and we just had to you know deal with a lot of that stuff yeah. this weekend. So it was pretty much. I was all about that this weekend. And so while you were with your family, Mm -hmm. I think me, Mark, and Delaney probably put about 500 miles on our travel car this weekend. that's right. And uh, we ended up on Thursday with the weather being bad. You know, we had plans on going to Glencoe and covering the, the games over there for Class B. Well, in anticipation of the ice and the snow coming in up north, they canceled or postponed those games on yeah. Tuesday or on Thursday, which means on Thursday we kind of scrambled around and we ended up making a last minute decision to go to Stringtown. Okay, Stringtown's yeah. an hour and a half away. Is it? Well, oh, it was a long <laughs> ride down there. Mark felt at home because he's in Choctaw country, and <laughs> I felt scared because I didn't know where I was at. <laughs> yeah, but once we finally got to Stringtown, Stringtown's has a really nice gym it was really nice Mm -hmm. and the court looked nice and Mm -hmm. it was nice seeing some friends out there and so then i didn't really feel so bad and then we went and ate at chili's in between the games and the toka i believe and we went back to stringtown for the evening game and then on that was thursday then friday we ended up going to glencoe on friday yeah Glencoe was a long way up there, too. I, I left from the city. I didn't realize it was that far. I got to Stillwater, and I was like, I don't think I've been this far north in a long time. <laughs> and so then I kept going up north, Yeah. saw two dead cows on the side of the road. Oh, I was like, I must be getting close to Glencoe. <laughs> and sure enough, Glencoe was about two more miles north of there. <laughs> so I didn't know. I, didn't, I, I thought there was a big bloated deer on the side of the road, but no, there's two cows. What, somebody hit them? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And apparently, they've been there for a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so then that was Friday. And then Saturday, I think we all kind of had prior engagements. So, we, di- we didn't really go anywhere Saturday. And Sunday, there was no games on Sunday. Yeah. But then last night, we ended up meeting back at Pomahaga and drove the, the Muscogee Creek Nation Reservation to the Muscogee Dome oh, yeah. and caught the Class B Area 2 Regional Finals. And that was a good game, and we'll get into that here in a little bit because we have some scores, and uh, we'll share some of those and where some of the local teams are at. But that was my weekend. Man, you stayed busy. <laughs> in between Traveling. there, I got time to hang with the kiddo, you know, had some fun. But, man, it was it was a busy week, and I didn't want to wake up this morning, but I'm here. Yeah. 
But it's also really cold outside. And how, how cold? 24. It's 24, Dennis 24 says. Weeks. So that means it's below freezing. Mm-hmm. Heat of the Alagis, which means that rain and snow, is, it's, gonna, it's coming. And be careful. There's reports of ice and snow coming tomorrow. And today I heard we may not even reach 32. So, mm-hmm. But before we get going, I've got two jokes lined up for you. <laughs> Do you want joke number one or joke number two, Bill? Joke number one. Joke number one. Why does a sprinter eat or what does a sprinter eat? Before a race, I don't know what. Mark, I can see the wheels. I can see the wheels spinning. Mark, what does a sprinter eat before a race? <laughs> Nothing. They fast. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I'm, I'm not going to waste joke number two, though. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and say it. Why can't a nose be twelve inches long? Because then it would be a foot. (laughs) So there's your Tuesday jokes out of the way. (laughs) So, you know, every week we talk about the ones who have started their journey. And um, as we do every week, you know, we want to remember those families who have lost loved ones um, and also friends during this time. And so uh, at this moment, we're going to go ahead and give our moment of silence. Here we go. Mado, mado. And so the getting into the government side of things, the general or the quarterly general council meeting is going to be on Saturday, March 5th, 2022 at 10 a.m. Again, that's going to be next Saturday at uh, 10 a.m. at the council house the quarterly general council meeting and then all the reports and all the things that people bring up should have already been turned in by Friday bill. Mm -hmm. And so the next thing kind of coming up is next Monday is usually the Monday before the general council meeting. A band chiefs meeting is usually held in the gym at the Mikasa commission. And then we should start seeing some of the band meeting announcements uh, coming up for this week. Or yeah. for next week mm-hmm. as well. And so if you have any of those announcements, uh, go ahead and send those to SeminoleMedia at gmail.com. So then that way the communication guys can go ahead and get that. I say guys. The communication guys and gal yeah. can go ahead and get that up on the um, Facebook page and get that posted for y'all. But again, general council meeting on uh, March the 5th at 10 a.m. And that should be... I probably think plans for a hybrid meeting on that day. So that's also, I believe, state tournament weekend, March 5th. So sports sports are on my mind right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> And department news, Bill, what do you got for CHR? Uh, February is America Heart Month, and there's they've got some tips for a healthy heart that can make part of your daily routine. So that goes through all, like for the whole month. They just got several tips that you can... Uh, I like follow. tips for a good, healthy heart. Yeah. Like on day 10, aim for 30 minutes of physical activity today. Mm-hmm. And so me and Mark's actually made plans okay. to go to the gym today yeah. and get at least 30 minutes of yeah. activity. Mm-hmm. So that's good. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. But that's pretty good. He's got tips for throughout the whole month. Yeah, I like tip for day number two, make a heart-healthy snack. Mm-hmm. And that can be just as simple as eating grapes. Yeah. Some get some hummus and put it on a multigrain cracker. Mm-hmm. Add some of that nonchalant cheese, you know, that they put mm-hmm. on the real fancy kind of cheese, not oh. the commodity cheese, but the <laughs> the spreadable cheese, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, get fancy on them. <laughs> so the diabetes program have two events coming up. The first one is the Seminole Nation Diabetes Program presents the chair aerobics and Tai Chi which they have informed me is not a drink. Tai Chi is an exercise. And so that's Tuesdays and Thursdays, March 1st at 11 a.m. The location is the bridge here in Seminole, Oklahoma. To register, you can go to the Jafigny Wellness Center or via email by either emailing Jerome Harrison at harrison.je at sno-nsn.gov 
or Kyla Harjo at harjo.k at sno-nsn.gov. Their phone numbers, if you have any questions, 405-584-7923 or 405-234-5246. And also keep note of those same email addresses and phone numbers if you want to sign up for the boot camp, which is March 8th through April 28th, Tuesdays and Thursdays. That starts at 5.30 p.m. The location of the boot camp is at Jafigny Wellness Center. And again, Jerome Harrison and Kyla Harjo's emails are the ones that you want to sign up for that. Communications, Bill, this is your area. What, what's going on in the right. communications realm? So we've already had the deadline for the newspaper, so it's getting put together now. So hopefully this week I'm going to try and get that paper out. But if, but definitely by next week it will be uh, It'll be put together. It'll be the newspaper will be out definitely by next week. But I'm gonna try to shoot for this week. You know, by Friday. Good deal. Be, hopefully, be all done with it. Also, if you have, if you would like to receive the newspaper, uh, send an email to SeminoleMedia at gmail dot com, or you can also call the communications department four zero five six five two seven two five one. Yes. All right, and Head Start. Uh, the communication, or I say the communications, <laughs> community baby shower honoring preg- pregnant mothers and families with infants and toddlers. And this is free and open to the public. That's going to be Wednesday, March the 2nd from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Fire Lake Arena. Also, if you want a ball, you might also check in to maybe some of the open tryouts they have over there at the Fire Lake Arena. Uh, join them for some refreshments, community resources, education, door prizes, and more. That's hosted by the Citizen Potawatomi Nation, Child Development Center, and Workforce Social Services. And if you're interested in being a vendor or sponsor, you can give them a their contact kim.coe at potawatomi.org. What's going on in the world of higher ed, Bill? They are, if you're interested in the IHS scholarship, the 2021-22 scholarship application is currently open. It must be submitted as well as any required supporting documents submitted electronically to the application no later than February 28, 2022 by 7 p.m., once a student is ready to apply, they should visit www.ihs.gov forward slash scholarship slash apply and select the big blue apply now button. This will take the applicant to the online application portal so that the scholarship is now open. So uh, you can contact the uh, IHS area office at 405 Three seven one four, or at eight hundred seven two two, three three five seven. You just skipped over Jared Tausaquaz's name <laughs> this week, didn't you? Yeah, we, yeah. we've been talking yeah. about this for the last four <laughs> weeks. <laughs> okay, the five hundred dollar scholarship, the Harjo Education Foundation, will be awarding three five hundred dollar scholarships for the spring twenty twenty two semester. For more information, email. Info at harjoed.org. Again, that's info, I-N-F-O, at harjoed.org. And some of the eligibility requirements must demonstrate financial need, must be enrolled in six hours or more, so must be a full-time student. One letter of recommendation, maintain a 2.5 GPA or higher. And so, you know, I wrote a letter of recommendation this weekend as well. On top of everything else. I was honored and asked to write a letter of representation or le- letter of recommendation for one of the Seminole Nation students that goes to OU right now. Right now, Miss Mahinwadir, and she is going to try to be what is it, Miss OU? Oh, really? Is that is that the term? Miss Indian, Indian, Indian OU mm-hmm. or Indian? Yeah, Miss Indian OU. Mm-hmm. And so we want to say good luck to Miss yeah. Mahinwadir. She's one of only three people that's applying right now. And I believe the only Muskogee and Seminole uh, person that's applying. So wow. congratulations, Mahinwa, and hope you win. Yes. All right. And then also the Andrew Gator Robinson Memorial Scholarship, which, which is also part of the Harjo Education Foundation. 
for more information regarding that, again, it's the same email I gave you a few minutes ago, info at harjoed.org. You want to go over to Cobell Scholarship? Uh, 2022 Summer Cobell Scholarship Opportunity Awards available for eligible American Indian and Alaska Native undergraduate and graduate students attending classes during the summer academic term. Eligibility requirements are you must be enrolled in the U.S. federally recognized tribe degree seeking, working towards graduation or acquired internship, completed a FAFSA, have an unmet need, must be enrolled in a nonprofit situation. To begin the application, visit corbellscholar.org. FAPSA. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Mm. All right. Honor Guard. And again, we've done this yeah. every week. No excuses. Mm -hmm. The Veterans Project, the Hall of Veterans Wall Dedication. We need your photos, people. Look yep. at me. If you can <laughs> see me through your radio dial or if you're watching me on Facebook, we need your family pictures. Uh, the hall is being dedicated to all Native American military vets. Photos are needed for the project. Send your photos to Seminole.vets, and that's with the S, Seminole.vets at SNO-NSN.gov. Please include the photo, the name of the person that served, a wartime error, branch, tribal affiliation, and any story or notes that you would like to add for that so we can put a story with the name and the mm -hmm. face. Yeah, You never know. We have some heroes out there, and no one, no one even yeah. knows, Bill. Mm, that's right. And so, you know, and all these men and women that have served, they are owed this honor, and especially to be in this new veterans center. And so, we want to put everyone that you know, mm -hmm. no excuses. Yep. Send us a photo. And then in ICW, this my. Uh, my picture's kind of old because it says, have a heart, foster a child. Mm -hmm. But I still thought it was fitting. It's February. It's still February. It's still February. Yep. I think I can get away with wearing hearts still in, in February. I still have a couple days. <laughs> but, you know, a couple weeks ago, they were just even asking for people, if you have time on the weekend, if you have an open spot in your home, that you can help foster a, the child even on the weekend. Mm -hmm. And so. Wow. Please, please, please contact the Seminole Nation Child Welfare wa Child. Boy, I am being tongue tied this morning. <laughs> yeah. Child Welfare Department, 405 257 9038. Talk to our friends over there. And the worst they can say is no, you mm -hmm. know. But if, if you have a want that you can foster a child full time, part time, if you have any questions whatsoever, I'm sure they will answer all those questions for you. Mm -hmm. There is, it's not like when you call, you're going to be bound to have, you know, a house full of people in your house. That, that's mm -hmm. not how it works. Yeah. Give them a phone call, learn how the process works, and see if if it's a good fit. And if if it's a good fit, that that's great. You know, me me and my my wife, we fostered and we adopted, and so mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that have fostered. And that led to adoption, but I also know some some families that just foster, mm -hmm. and you know they do a do a big service to their community by having you know some of these families have six and ten kids in their home, and it's just you know something that I think would be rewarding the families, mm -hmm. you know, and then also to give a child some kind of stability while they're going through a rough time in their life. Yeah. So, 405-257-9038. And now I'll do this one. This yeah. is for language. Yep. You know, right now our classes are still going on. Mm -hmm. But there is some weather that's supposed to be coming in, like we mentioned at the top of the show, yeah. uh, Wednesday and Thursday. And so we're not quite sure, depending on how it's going to turn out tomorrow, if we'll yeah. have class. We probably will still stream it. Because okay. we're talking about doing the pre-recorded streaming this afternoon oh, okay. uh, for that or a pre-recorded session. But also learning in relation, creating an online indigenous language course. Me and Delaney was talking about this last week. Some of our friends are putting on this seminar 
which is going to be on Thursday, March the 3rd from 2 to 4 p.m. And it's a free online event, and you can register by going to the Educational Leadership and Policy Study for the University of OU. And again, this is going to be uh, for developing online language courses, or you can go to ithana.org um, and get more information there. The Princess Committee Stomp Dance Bill. Oh, yeah. March 5th, 2022, Conway Elementary Gym. Free entry. Everyone's invited. Dinner starts at 5 to 6. The dance starts at 6.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Come and come for an evening of cultural fellowship through the songs and dances of the Muscogee people. The MC will be my Miko Chabon Colonel. The benefit supports the 2021-22 Seminole Nation Junior Miss and Miss Representation. Uh, evening is sponsored by the Seminole Nation Princess Committee. For more information, contact 405-220-7068 or 471-3038. Vendors are welcome. There's a $10 setup and a donated booth item. And again, the event is located on the west side of the Kanawha Campus, 701 West South Street. Kanawha, Oklahoma. And then also, Grace Lena is our uh, miss, uh, miss for Seminole Nation. We saw her last night at the game, too. Her and her family, yeah. yep. And so, and she's also busy with being a basketball player for the Seminole mm-hmm. State women's team. Yeah. So, you Bells. know, Seminole's out there making some waves. Yep, they sure are. Good job job openings. I didn't pull that today. So let me <laughs> let me pull up the website here. So if you're interested in a job with the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma, you can go to the SNO-NSN.gov website and then t- click on the communications tab. And from there, you'll be able to pull up all the jobs that are available. And Dennis, I don't think the Internet's working right now. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. So if you click the careers tab on the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma website, and then they have changed the vendor on how they're doing it, uh, applications now. And so you can click on the page to fill out a general application. But some of the employment opportunities available, it says ADM, ASAP, child care, CHR, court, cultural resources, diabetes program, domestic violence, physical services, Head Start, ICWA, light horse maintenance and vehicle maintenance and so if you're interested in any of any of those uh, please go and check out and also if you're interested in a casino job you go to seminole nation dot casino and you can pull up their careers as well and then also for sendoc mm-hmm. if you're looking to be employed or want to work with sendoc sendoc has some great benefits you go to sendoc dot applicant pro dot com forward slash jobs and so we have a lot of community news, Bill. Yep. And again, weather is going to be, be playing a big part of this. Mm-hmm. And we usually like to go through some of these high schools that are local for our, our reservation. But here locally, Seminole High School, Lady Chieftains are district champs. Yep. And then also from the Seminole High School, any parent or guardian of Seminole Public School Native American students, Thursday, February 24th. The uh, middle school library time at 630 will be a J-O-M meeting. And that's going to, if you have any questions, contact David Dean, 405-382-5085. David was actually my um, science teacher at Wetumpka. Really? When I was, yeah, when I was in school. So, again, yeah. that's uh, J-O-M director David Dean. <laughs> What's going on at Strother? Strother. Well, due to projected weather forecast, Strother Public School will be Virtual Wednesday, February 23rd, and Thursday, February 24th. And a reminder that they are out on Friday the 25th. They're just telling everybody to stay safe. And also to congratulations to the Lady uh, Yellow Jackets, the regional champs, and are on their way to area next week. Good deal, yeah. They yeah. Uh, they uh, won district champs, and yeah. so or, area, or regional champs. Mm-hmm. So congratulations, Strother. Kanawha, also, they're going to complete the school day today, and buses will will run at their normal time. However, due to the threat of ice and snow and the temperature 
the forecast for Wednesday through Thursday, they will be going virtual as well those days. Yep. And then also Kanawha, Monday, February 28th, 9 to two fifteen, having a blood drive by the Oklahoma or OBI. And so make sure you want to go get blood. Go ahead and contact them at 580-925-3221. Varnum is also out. Uh, due to the forecast, the freezing rain, and the brutally frigid temperatures, we will pivot to virtual learning on Wednesday and Thursday. So, and there was already no school on Friday for them as well. And New Lima also, Wednesday will be virtual day. And Thursday, there will be no work assigned for that day. It will be a snow day. And then Friday, they're thinking about it, so to be announced, announced. I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Sasakwa is having a blood drive on Friday, March the 4th from 8.30 to 1 p.m. That's going to be at the high school auditorium. So if you have any questions on that one, Mm 405-941-3250. I like those shirts, man. A little bit bit country, a little bit rock and roll. Yeah, I guess you get to choose one, huh? (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) yeah. And also, again, uh, the American Indian Wills Clinic, Friday, February 25th. I'm not sure. I haven't heard if they're full yet or not. But call 405-208-5017 to make an appointment if you'd like to set up a will. And, again, that's going to be by the American Indian Wills Clinic. Hmm. Have you heard the big news? Yeah. About about Reservation Dogs Season 2. They are looking for extras, mm-hmm. and so it's all over Facebook and the internet right now. So yeah. if you're interested, go uh, go look on their website, and you can also get a link by the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma uh, Facebook page. I actually heard it on the news this morning. Oh, did you really? Yeah, no. <laughs> big, big time. <laughs> looking for extras, big time. Yeah, and then also at the Seminole Nation Museum, they've got the Muskogee Bandolier collection available right now exhibit open and that's from now to april 30th but then they're also doing in honor of black history month there is an exhibition that will be available uh, until mid-march and then you can actually meet some of the people involved with that this weekend february 26th from one to three at the museum which is at 524 south wewoka avenue we woke oklahoma 74884 and then as they journey back to the days of Indian Territory Nation. And so they'll be on hand to guide you through the exhibit and answer any questions that you have. And again, that's this weekend. They'll also have door prizes and other fun activities. Uh, Let's get the birthdays real quick and then we'll finish okay. out with basketball. Okay. Well, birthdays, we got Jay Lee Harjo, Paul Factor, Craig McGirt Farber, Zoe Fox, Roland Roberts, Tracy Bell. Tyler Maupin, Charlene Colbert, Thomasine Cornelius, Robert Lowe, Jenny Factor, Chelsea Porter, Matthew C. Lumber, Elias Porter, Marianna Martley, and Sherry Pinnock. Happy birthday! And so kind of to finish out the show for today, we're going to talk about some of the radio or some of the radio, some of the games <laughs> yeah. that we announced. You know, we were doing some of these on live stream. We had the opportunity to cover some of the local Seminole Nation res teams, mm-hmm. and we tried to live stream the games. And so Friday, like I mentioned, we went to, we're supposed to go, to, or we went to Glencoe. Yeah. New Lima beat South Coffeyville 48 to 28. Varnum beat Copan 81 to 40. The girls, the Varnum boys lost to Copan 94 91. That was a great game. Earlsboro beat Welch 40 or 70 to 44. Then that sent Welch to the losers bracket and beat New Lima 55 to 47. Hmm. And then that set us up for last night's game. Last night we were at, like I mentioned, the Creek Nation Res hmm. at the Muskogee Dome to watch the Area 2 finals. Between the Earlsboro Lady Wildcats and the Varnum Lady Whippets, Varnum came out, came out on top, fifty mm-hmm. to forty-seven, which makes us to look forward to this week, the Class B area playoffs. With Earlsboro plays Fort Cobb, Broxton Thursday at six thirty, and then on Friday at six thirty, Varnum faces Lomega at Stroud, mm-hmm. and then it's a possible rematch of. 
if everything falls in the right spot, mm-hmm. there's a possible rematch between Earlsboro and Varnum. Wow. But as as normal, we do have some breaking news. The OSSAA has just announced that the area games will be postponed today, which means that everything will be moved back. So instead of the games on Friday, those games will now be on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Okay. And so if it, if it was like it was this last week, that means mm-hmm. the games that were originally scheduled on Saturday will probably now be played on Monday. Okay. All right. And so... Like church, anything else to get off your chest, Bill? Mm-mm. Any last, any last thoughts? Mm-mm. Like a wedding, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Not you good? I'm good. good. I'm good. <laughs> all right. Well, I think that's all I've got. Oh, be on the lookout this weekend for Benita White Killer is selling those meat pies. We had some last week, and they they were pretty good. Mm. They were pretty good. So. You can catch the rebroadcast. I about I about skipped my line there. You can catch the rebroadcast of this radio show on the Facebook page and YouTube channel and the tribal website, which is sno-nsn.gov, for the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma every Wednesday around 8 p.m. If you have news or announcements you want to share on the Community and Events Facebook page, please email the communications staff at seminolemedia at gmail.com. Or call 405-652-7251. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, tune in every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Right here on KWSH 97.7 FM. Or to, wait for it, legendary 1260 a.m. Bill, that's it. That's That's the show. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Mado and Jihee Jollies.